first episode of Minecraft 1.18 episode and this is episode 33 that's right everybody episode no no no, no. I, I mean episode 35 my very first episode to begin in 1.18 you see this in the corner of the screen here the, b the bottom right corner of the screen here it says version 1.18 yes it finally came it came it came in the evening on the end of November and here it is Minecraft 1.18 you see this beautiful terrain generation background yes those Minecraft those Minecraft YouTubers were right this future update came, and and the and the hills and the and the generate and the terrain generation on Earth is now a lot better. Also, what's new in settings is that is that in the video the render distance, the amount of render distance has changed instead of. Instead of being only able to increase the chunks, uh, like, like two more, like for example this, uh, six, eight, ten, and twelve. Instead, you can now go up to, you can now count up to, you can now do it up to five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, instead of up to twos. And yeah, as you can see. If I go above 10 chunks on the render distance, it will say this higher render distance could cause a low frame rate, crashes, or unexpected behaviour. And under 10 chunks will say, in brackets, recommended. Yeah, I'm going to have to stick with less than 10 chunks because, because especially for my... Xbox game bar recorded f filmed screen filmed videos because because they did they do lag easily so I need to go on to the recommended level yeah that's that's the difference to render distance now yeah so so I I really don't recommend you increasing your render distance to any more than ten chunks because because your game is more likely to glitch. Yeah, my yeah my device my laptop cannot handle so much data in in Minecraft for some reason. Also, what's new is that if you go into Creative World, I mean if you go into any old world that was generated before 1.18 you can you can update your world you can go and update your world which will up which will make your world higher and deeper and adds more blocks and caves under your current world so there's more to explore underground yes I'm definitely making a backup copy of this world Let's see the difference to my creative world once it's full of 1.18 generation. I'm so curious. I, I hope it doesn't like mess up my my man made my man made city and stuff. Right, this might get a little bit laggy when I come in. Right, is there any difference around it? Wait a minute, just to check, is there, am I on 1.18, and yeah, this is what, yeah, Charleston Flats was, was built in the previous episode, oh, it's, it's taking a while to, it's taking a while to, Generate all the blocks.
Well, let me just go back and see if I'm on the on the 1.18 world. Because I don't think that is. Wait, what? Wait, I can't tell which one has been updated. Is it the regular creative world or just a... Or is the backup copy the the old one? Hang on, let me return. And just take a look around. Just... Oh, come on! if it makes the world like any deeper but uh, I'm just going to take a look I'm just going to go to haven't generated but only only the the new ground the new the new minerals in the ground have generated uh wait what if i go to minus 17 wait a minute uh, recently i saw a false youtube video that said Mojang has removed Bedrock in version 1.18, but actually, no, it's still there. Oh my god, wow, thank you so much, Minecraft. Thank you so much, Mojang, I love you. Thank you for putting this into existence. Yeah, I even marked the zero... I even marked the zero zero part of the world as the centre of the earth. Yeah, wrapped with obsidian around with an obsidian pillar representing the centre of the earth. Cause you see how you can tell is that I'm at position zero zero if you see at this if you see on that corner of the screen. Yes, zero zero. Now then let's just see if there's if anything new has been added to the game, or is it only Earth that has completely changed? No, nope, I don't think they've added anything else in, in the game. I, think, I don't think they've added new, new collectible items in the game. I think they've just changed, they've just changed the way the world is generated. And that's basically it. I don't want to go around High Yard Spa too much because, yeah, that happened High Yard Spa because, because um, uh, it's just, there's just so much data in this town because of how, because of how much I've, I've built around here. I've got to be a bit careful because I think I'm looking a bit now. Hang 
go in a minute. Are the cave entrances still the same? Uh... No, I think it only... I think the only changes in this old part of the world is just... They've just added, made the ground deeper. I think that's all they've added in this old chunk of the world. Anyway, besides that... Go to it. Uh, wait, I got it. Oh, wait, never mind. It's okay. I just forgot what coordinate I forgot what coordinate I'm on, so I, I can't use the teleport if I don't know where I'm supposed to teleport. I cannot use the teleport command unless I know where I'm supposed to be going, so I'm just going to follow this dual track instead. What the heck is that little piggy doing on the jewel track on the main road? Hey, get here. I really don't know if if animals can spawn on concrete. I really can't tell if that pig just spawned there, if that little piggy just spawned there, or or managed to or managed to jump over one of the one of those walls and then just fell into here. I have no idea what the heck happened because I didn't see. It's just, this is just part five of... Uh, oh yeah, this, this is going to be part five of of the A1 dual carriageway construction. Yeah, and the opposite of construction. Nah, I don't destruct anything in Minecraft. I, I construct in Minecraft more than destruct. And I've never had to demolish any of my constructions in Minecraft yet, because I never needed to. And that's probably not going to happen till years. So, let's just get started. Yeah, and I'm feeling a lot better than last week, because last week I had a Yeah, and I had a bit of a sore throat, and I, I couldn't talk as clearly as now. So yeah, my voice... Sorry about the way I, I had to talk in the previous episode. It's just because I had a sore throat and uh, yeah, now I'm I'm better and now I can and now I can I'm I'm perfectly fine doing a video. And yeah, I I also made a survival world in Minecraft that I so I could check out all the 1.18 world generations and then and then what I came across was all just was was a deeper ground yeah so the new thing about 1.17 now is that is that uh, is that in is that as soon as you pass the if, as soon as if you pass a negative y coordinate, which is the number in the middle over here, 
you see it, I'm on my coordinate 72. If you go if you go below zero and enter a negative level, it will all the the ground will be completely full of deep slates and tough. So yeah. The positive ground level is is full of stone and and the negative level of earth is all deep slate. Even the ores are made of deep slate too. Deep slate is a is also a, is also a very good construction for new buildings. I like the look of deep slate. I've even used some for construction like this, like these, uh, like those city flats. The city named Charleston. Yeah, that's what I built in the previous episode. This, these Charleston flats. They're not very big though. They only have like. They they only have twelve rooms. And below. And on the first floor, full of deep slate bricks, is is all yeah is is the shops on the first floor, and above is just a flat for anyone to to stay in, to live there. Anyway, it's enough uh, philosophy about Minecraft 1.18, and now and now let's just get started.
villagers are <coughs> the villagers are getting infected one day i really need to i need to build like a wall a huge great wall of the charleston village so so the hostile mobs do not come and invade this place <laughs> Oh, just turned into a villager already. What the heck are you doing? There. Become fire resistant. Oh, you know what? Screw you. I don't care about you anymore.
what's going to be what's going to be on the other what's going to be on this side of the of the flats uh where this jewel track is where this jewel yeah the jewel track is uh under this part will be will have will be the second junction where you can turn off and and drive into this city that's that's still highly in progress right now and yeah this is the this is this is what's going to be added in this in this part in part five of dual track construction of the A1 dual track construction. Yeah. Oh! Oh god, there's so many phantoms out there. I don't know about this, but in the savannah biome, when, when I'm away, when I'm in the savannah or desert biome, it often goes to, it often, the weather often switches to thunderstorms. Yeah, and I can tell by that because, because whether it's during the day, mobs are still spawning and the only reason behind that is because there's a thunderstorm. But there, but there is no rain or thunderstorms in, in the savannah or desert.
So for the rest of this, so for the rest of this dual track, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to construct it with light grey tarback. I call for this construction. I call it tarback because it's the because it's what I use to make roads in Minecraft. The concrete blocks.
episode 35 done. Episode 35 now done. See you in episode. See you in the next episode. And uh, yeah, in the next episode, I am going to either. I'm not sure yet that if I either want to do another part of of A1 construction or or a next or a next uh, building video or building something else in a city. So that's so that's it for this long video. See you all in uh, in the next episode.